Well, guys, if you didn't make it to the Victorian Caravan and Camping Touring Super Show here at 2014 at the Caulfield Race Course, you missed out. It's been a magnificent show. Make sure you get down next year. Don't forget there's the Melbourne Ledger Fest coming up a little bit later on the year, as well as the Border Expo RV up in uh, aubrey Wodonga, And, of course, you've got the Bendigo Show out at the Bendigo Race Course up in November. And you've got to get into these shows. It's all happening right here. Oh, I've been blown away because I'm walking here through the show. And here I find this caravan, which is dynamic to look at. I mean, it's amazing. To look. The outside of it's like a bullet, right? Exactly. Exactly like a bullet. But yes. you walk inside it and it's got nothing in it. It's empty. That's right. We're a country of DIY enthusiasts and we thought that if we could build a caravan that was half built, but legal on the road, yep. we'd let people finish the inside of it the way they like. So, they can do it themselves. Well, the shell in itself is complete. Because of the way we build our caravan, we build the structure of the van first and we add the joinery and the fittings later, yeah. unlike most conventional vans. So we can have our van complete on the outside and all the pieces on the inside, a bit like building a house. We yeah. build the outside yeah. and then you put all the joinery in it. So we're doing the same thing with this van. Yeah. So that means that you can buy this van and you can complete it yourself over a period of time. So the plumbing and the water and the water tanks are in under the floor, save you lying on your back. Yeah. <laughs> And getting, and getting too much dirt in your ears. Yeah. So, so and, and as we build the shell, we put in what wires we have to put in yep, yep. to get to the lights and things. So plumbing as well, even things like that, they, yes. it's there and people just extend it yes. out the direction they want. Or, Correct. Yeah. That's right. And, and we can supply the joinery in flat pack form. But they could buy a kit off you if you wanted. They yeah. want certain things inside. They buy the components. They can buy the components from us and put it all together. Yeah, absolutely. Whatever they like. Hey, yeah. what a fantastic idea, Alistair. Mate, thank you so much for your time. It's really a good problem. to have a chat to you about that. Yes, and, so. uh, guys, so you guys got, got a website you can check We've out? www. Yeah, everyone does the web. The one with you, one with you, one with you, man. The Aerovan. A E R O V A N. I suppose there's a limit to how small you can go with a caravan yeah. um, and I suppose once again a limit to how large yeah. so I suppose about 16 foot 6 is the smallest we do swivel chair vans they they all came from swivel chair vans you gotta love the swivel chair vans so yeah, very yeah. very rare to see a non shower van unless it's got bunks uh, our range is um, Delta uh, Legacy and X-Track yeah. Um, so our Delta Extra, series, that's the off road. Yes, yeah. it's yes. just guess you. Know. <laughs> yeah. um, which is a legitimate off road, corrugated roads, all that yeah. sort of stuff. Yep. Yeah. How did it go on the Gibber River, mate? Uh, should be fine. We've had a couple of customers take them down. Truthfully, we've had a couple of customers take the non-off road ones down the Gibb too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we do, we do all our own plans. We do everything, and then basically Safari put the van together for us. That's a good partnership. Exactly yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, and it's a very, like, it's a really, really close partnership. You're in the as well. state. How, how, do, how do people find you in the state? Well, find the Safari um, brand in the state. Well, a lot of people, the internet basically. Yeah. Um, very, very. This is something new. This is, is something we've never seen before. So, and it's by Majestic. That's right. Yeah? That's right. Yep. Yeah. Um, we've designed something to basically. Uh, have your, you know, outdoor settings um, apart from just a normal pull-out barbecue. This way you've got a fridge, the a fridge. wash-up, you know, basin. Um, you've still got the barbecue there. You've still got your entertainment area in there as well. Yep. With the management, everyone sat down and thought about um, everyone usually goes outside, you know, always outside, cooking, yep. um, you know, having the hassle to run in and get, get yourself a drink where you've got that luxury of having it all outside now. Um, we're using the Cruise Master suspension yep. underneath it. Um, we've got all the toolboxes for storage yep. on the chassis, bolted up. We'll make it, I suppose, easier to access. Um, all the drop down. You've got battery boxes at the front. Yep. Generator slide out. Yep. So that goes in, so that's nice and easy access. So you just showed me, so now I know what I'm doing, right? So I just pull that out like that. Slides out, the generator access, it's all done. You've kept everything nice and, co and compact. You've got the gas bottles in the front, right? That's so. what you need. You need the extra space, you know. So we built a big toolbox, you know, for your gas bottles in there to keep it nice and um, clean. Um, jerry can holders on the side. 
Um, and that's that's always you know the main thing you need. It's it's, it's you know designed when you do go off that off, uh, off road. Um, you know you 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 can go there for days. You know, and, yeah. Yeah. They yeah. do the outside. I do the inside. So it's quite spacious. Yeah. I can't believe the size of the bathroom. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's massive. I love it. So. <laughs> bathroom is actually quite deceiving. Not many people, unless the door's open. So once you open the door, it is just... Because they're normally pretty compact, but that's oh, yeah. the space in there is just yeah. insane. Yeah, that's a female's bathroom, so... Yeah. <laughs> Dude, yeah. every lady always wants more cupboards, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, there, and there's heaps of storage. It's amazing. Bed lifts up as well? Yeah. Bed lifts up. Um, so the kitchen's probably not huge. It's still a decent amount of, um, of size, but because we've got the outside kitchen, yeah. that's more than enough. Yeah. Why did, why did you guys build on Austria? Why? Um, we believe that they have a fantastic chassis. So, so they can find you on the website and you yeah. have something, something like an e-newsletter? We do have an e-newsletter um, and that comes out usually quarterly. So it's a good thing to get involved in, guys, because it'll keep you up to date with what's going on? Sure will. Fantastic. Yeah.